Welcome to the Cardano 360 Mini. This is where we take the Cardano 360 show and then boil it down into a condensed version that highlights the biggest moments. And first up, Women in Cardano. March is Women's History Month and it highlights contributions made by women both past and present. And we caught up with Shweta Chauhan, the first female Cardano stake pool operator, to talk about being recently included in a Forbes article about inspirational women and receiving funding through Project Catalyst to create the Lovelace Academy, which is aimed at bringing developers into the Cardano ecosystem. We also had a very insightful conversation with Runtime Verification's Grigori Russo, and he gave us a rundown on what they've been working on, as well as a time frame for when we can expect to see what they've been working on. But before we get to the time frame, let's explain what's going on. This is the LLVM. It's been around for almost 20 years, and it's used by some of the biggest companies in the world, such as Apple, Intel, Sony, and lots more. It's pretty much the industry standard. And the LLVM allows high-level languages to compile into something that major systems can understand. And why this matters is because Runtime Verifications is creating Yelly, and Yelly is connected to Cardano. And the way that Yelly is going to work is on the back end of the LLVM to convert anything that passes through it. So anything that can be compiled on the LLVM can be translated into Yelly and work on Cardano. This is the tool that will open up universality on Cardano and allow developers from any language to develop smart contracts on Cardano. So when is this coming? So that's why we hope that in six months, we are going to have a first version without any library support. So there'll be some limitations, like uh, developers will not be able to use the full power of uh, flow numbers or uh, other, other, other things that are not even that uh, common on, on the blockchain. Uh, but they will, they will be able to write very basic programs, um, uh, smart contracts using, uh, using conventional languages in six months. The idea is that once this is in place and the connection has been established, the community can then start working on developing and expanding Yelly, giving it greater functionality but this is not the only thing that Runtime is working on. They're also working on something called Alpha Frontier, and you can think of it like a verification process. When it comes to a bug in smart contracts, a bug could mean the loss of millions of dollars. So how do you avoid smart contracts with bugs? That's where Alpha Frontier comes in. The goal is to create a certification process so that before people even interact with a smart contract, they can know what level of auditing that smart contract has undergone. After going through the Alpha Frontier certification process, smart contracts would include some sort of visual indication of the level of auditing that smart contract underwent, with the most rigorous being the most securely rated. This would give you an at-a-glance understanding of safety and security of smart contracts. But creating this certification standard is just one piece of the story. Using this standard, the idea is to go and approach dApps and projects that are working well on Ethereum and then bring them over to Cardano and create a three-way partnership between Runtime Verifications, IOHK, and the product maker. And the idea is to benefit everyone. Cardano adds growth products, users, devs, and raises the security bar. The product gets to extend to Cardano with elevated security solutions by Runtime Verifications, and Runtime Verifications increases its expertise, partnerships, and formally verified modules. Dapps that currently run on Ethereum also running on Cardano is something we're all looking forward to. And in fact, we were treated to a demo of a Uniswap-like decentralized exchange working perfectly in the Plutus language. Decentralization is one of the current topics in the ecosystem, so we made sure to talk about what does full decentralization mean. On March 31st, D will equal zero, and that means 100% of the blocks are being produced by stake pool operators. But this is just the first step of three that will lead us to full decentralization. What comes next is the network. As it stands right now, the network is somewhat peer-to-peer. -peer. I say somewhat because peers are connecting to each other, but it has to be done manually. And with this next phase of improvements, the goal will be to make this automatic, so interactions between agents on the network are more fluid, with the final step being governance, which is already being worked on with Project Catalyst, as many of you know. By the way, we just released a special standalone video about reward sharing and pledge by our chief scientist, Egalos. So be sure to check that out too if you're into the science and philosophy of rewards. In the show, we saw the announcement of the Plutus Pioneer Program, and this program is geared towards teaching developers how to write in Plutus. So if you're a developer, you don't even need to have experience with Haskell, but you want to learn Plutus, follow the link in the description to check out the sign up for the program and to learn more. And speaking of learning about Cardano, there was also the announcement of a commissioning of a Mastering Cardano book that will be written by James Coldwell. He is a professor at Wyoming University, and he has taken on the challenge 
of putting together something that covers Cardano from front to back that will explain everything you need to know. We got an update on Project Catalyst and the numbers continue to grow with almost 17,000 participants now signed up on IdeaScale. That is a tremendous amount of participants. And with the recent rise in ADA price, the treasury is now nearing half a billion dollars in available funds. Since the start of Project Catalyst, the first fund had zero dollars. The second fund had 250K, the third fund, 500K, the fourth fund, a million dollars, and the upcoming fund five will have $2 million to go towards funding projects to help the Cardano ecosystem. If you wanna get involved in Project Catalyst, you can go to cardano.idealscale.com, create an account, and then check your email for explanations that will fill you in on all the details. Make sure to check your junk mail too, they might get caught there. Ben Gertzel made an appearance on the show to give us an update on the Singularity Net partnership and what they've been working on. Ben mentioned that they are working on an AI DSL or domain specific language, and this would be a language for AI agents running on Cardano to interact with each other. Ben also talked about robots, specifically Grace, who is a sibling to Sophia and is aimed at the medical industry and how they plan to include the use of the Cardano blockchain. Hanson Robotics will be building Grace with the AI mind from SingularityNet, which will be running on the Cardano blockchain, offering a level of security for sensitive information that Cardano can provide. A few months ago, a partnership was announced with Wolfram Alpha, and this month we got an update on progress. And that is that they have now integrated Cardano into the Wolfram language and are able now to read transactions from Cardano in the Wolfram language with the next step being able to write transactions to Cardano along with Oracle integration. And if you're not familiar with Wolfram Alpha, it is a knowledge engine. And what Wolfram Alpha will be able to do is deliver computational facts to blockchains that trigger clauses in smart contracts, which will be greatly beneficial to smart contracts on Cardano. And of course, last but not least, the Alonzo roadmap. All this month and into April, the Ledger node code is being updated. And that coincides with Plutus development and the integration of the code as well. Near the end of April, a private testnet will be launched to check everything is working. And near the start of May, the Pioneer testnet will be launched. They will test this for two months. And if everything goes well, at the end of June, there will be a code freeze. This freeze will last a minimum of four weeks to give exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, and Bittrex the time they need to update. And if everything goes as planned, we'll see smart contracts on Cardano in August. And that's it for the Cardano 360 Mini. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.